Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So in this one, I'm going to show you two proven verified winning dropshipping products that you can get started with right away. I will of course show you the evidence behind these products, how I know that they're selling and working right now. Obviously, before you pick a product, you want to make sure that you're kind of attaching your anchor to the right thing. Um, I'm sure there's a better saying. There is a typical saying for this that I cannot remember right now. You want to make sure that you're hitching your horse to the right wagon. And in this video, I'm gonna make sure that you're doing that. So first things first, you wanna make sure that the products that you're gonna build a business around, the products you're gonna invest in ad creatives, the products you're gonna invest your time, and more importantly, your money into advertising, you wanna make sure that there's proven hardcore non-disputable evidence that people are actually buying the product and they're buying it right now. And they're all the sorts of things that I look for in a product, which brings us on to the first product, which is this, device that somehow, and to be honest, when I first saw this product, I didn't believe the claims. I must admit I was skeptical. However, these guys do a really good job of putting those skepticisms to bed um, and proving and kind of reassuring the consumer that the product does actually work. And when we take a look at what the consumer is actually saying about the product, the product does actually work. This is a product which is perfect, perfect, perfect for this time of year. As the weather gets warmer, things become smellier, and this product solves the smell issue when it comes to cat poo in your home. So the company we're looking at is called Femi Home. This post has been active since November 9th of 2023. This is not a product that dips, or sorry, spikes, then dips and spikes and dips. By the looks of things, it sells all year round. I would hazard a guess it probably sells better and more so through the warmer months because as temperatures increase, things do become smellier, of course. The hook they use is tired of your home smelling like cat poop. Everything you need to know about this product, the hook, the pain point, everything is in that first line. With the emoji, they do a really good job of capturing the attention of their ideal consumer. Same thing goes for the visual as well. So in quotations, my home no longer smells like cat poop. Straight away, it shows you and tells you what the product does. Um, it sounds like it's coming from a consumer, which is kind of like a bit of social proof and reassurance that, a pro that the product does actually do what it claims. The primary text at the top is very straightforward, um, a very effective and simple strategy. Often simple does work best. I see it too often. People try and overcomplicate things and oversell a product. You don't need to do that. You need to consider what your product does, the main benefits of what the product does and the pain points it solves or the hesitations your consumer may be having. And if you solve and address all of those hesitations, then ultimately they'll be left with absolutely no reason not to buy your product. So if you do a good job of doing that, it's significantly going to increase your chances of success. So no more smelly home, that's obviously first thing and foremost what people are trying to do. Number two, it works all your money back. So there's reassurance there. It's kind of like a risk-free trial. You may as well risk the 40 or 50 pounds, whatever the product is, because if it doesn't work, I'm gonna get my money back. So why would you not try it, right? If your home smells like cat poo, you're probably willing to risk quite a significant amount of money to get rid of that smell, because you don't want that, of course. No more cleaning the litter box every five minutes. So there's another pain point, it's solving for the consumer. You don't have to kind of keep on top of your litter box throughout the day. If you are busy, like most people are, you go out for the day or whatever, and you come back to a home that smells clean rather than having to take out the litter box and clean it every five minutes, as they say. It's rechargeable, use it over and over. So when you see um, all these different kind of smelling devices that you plug in, you usually have to keep topping them up and buying new scents to plug into them or refilling them, which is obviously an extra expense, extra hassle, which people don't want today. People live busy lives. So they say that it's rechargeable so you can use it over and over again. It's very little maintenance. Um, and then no more harmful scents harming your cat. So again, I would assume, I don't have a cat so I wouldn't know, but I would assume there's certain things that you can buy that absolutely stink to try and cover and mask the smell and it's probably not very pleasant for your cat. So again, there's another pain point and how this is differentiating from any other competitor's product. Moving down, we can see in the headline in quotations, I'm so sick of my home smelling like poop. This is probably a thought most cat owners have had, especially during the summer months. Um, 2.6 thousand reactions, 3,000 comments and 400 shares. 3, 000, there's more comments than shares and reactions combined. This is something people are obviously quite passionate about. So let's see what they're saying. We have Tammy, totally works, thank goodness. I really recommend this item. 
Evan Dykes, I have six. They work great, but need recharging every week. Who buys six of these things? That's crazy. Um, Karen, I definitely work. Um, had mine two weeks. Definitely a good product, but one for me and my seven of my relatives. Um, just ordered earlier today. Worked great at first, and it still does, but now I need to charge it every day. So there's potentially a development issue there for the product to so increase the battery life of it. Just what I needed. My cats use the world's best cat litter, which is fabulous. Environmentally random comment there. Just put mine up yesterday and I can tell the difference. I just ordered. This is the best thing I've ever bought. Pick one up twice a day, top up with a bit of fresh litter, change the whole litter box, no odor. Surprisingly, these things actually worked. I have two cats in my house, smells like poo. So we're looking, we got one and it's not made any difference. So there's one person versus the several. But then we have Bianca, look. I bought two of them and thought, and though I was skeptical, they work wonders. I have a cat room too, blah, 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 blah. As we can see, people are buying this and for the most part, people are happy with it as well, which is super, super important. Um, so what is the product? We'll jump onto AliExpress and I'll show you first. So it's product you can get delivered for $10.62. This has 500 reviews, this particular supplier um, from 5,000 orders with a 4.7 average rating. So it's fairly safe to say that people are happy with this product. As skeptical as you still may be, as I still am, you have to follow what people are saying. Onto the Shopify store, then we hit this. Do you want a secret discount code? Yes, please. Then you have to put in your name and email to reveal the discount. Um, very kind of typical and straightforward layout when it comes to the product page itself. What I really, really like though, is that everything is branded, everything. So this is not an image taken from AliExpress. It may be that they've taken this image and edited it, but the colors all tie in with each other. They've done a really, really good job of owning the product, and I cannot stress how important that is. So all of the imagery, even in this product description at the top here, is with the logo on, even though the actual image ad itself has no logo on. So the product page does, the image ad doesn't, and by the looks of things, it comes in packaging, which is branded. However, if we come down into the reviews, let's have a look. Oh, so this one actually does have a picture of it in the correct packaging, which you don't usually see very often. Let's try and find um, some more to see if it actually does come with the correct branding on. So I think mm -hmm. it's not quite good enough to see. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can find one. Okay, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the video, but I can just about make it out. This does not have the branding on. So I don't know. Maybe they did at some point drop ship them with the AliExpress branding and now they've transitioned. Maybe they are drop shipping them with the correct logo or matching logo on. I'm not 100% sure. But either way, this is something I speak about in all of my videos. This is something you should be aiming for in private labeling, private branding, the products you are selling because it will separate you from everybody else instantly. They have a very straightforward bullet point information list. They actually have the reviews above the name of the product, which is interesting. And they also have a bundle and save too with the different options for the different charger plugs. So it's pretty clear they're obviously selling this to a number of different countries. This is a brilliant site. It's very straight to the point and very easy to kind of consume and find the information that you need. Everybody obviously when they buy something, they wanna know when the delivery is expected. They wanna know how much delivery is. They do a really good job of putting everything first and foremost on the product page so the consumer can make a purchase decision there and then. They don't have to go looking around the website for any other information. Before going any further, if you are looking for some extra help, somebody with experience to guide you through the starting and scaling of a dropshipping business to help you avoid the common pitfalls, those expensive and timely mistakes. Um, I do have a mentorship program. If you're interested and want to discuss further, we can jump on a call. You can jump on a call with myself. We can have a chat, have a discussion um, and see what's what. See if I can help you get to where it is you're trying to get to. If that sounds good to you, what you need to do is head below the description of this video. You'll see this, this mentorship link. Just click that. It's going to take you to a page where it will be a series of questions. Honestly, it takes maybe two minutes to fill out. It's basically a chance for me to get to know where you are now and where you wanna be in one, two or three months time with my help. If you have a realistic goal and you're committed and serious about making this work, it will take you through to my calendar where you'll be able to book a time and date where me and you can jump on a call for half an hour and have a friendly chat and discussion, get to know what's what. Um, and see if I can indeed help you get to that point. So if that sounds good to you now, head over there at the end of this video and get that call booked in. 
So moving on to product number two then. What this product is, is it's a variation, which I've spoken about and will speak about in a video on Wednesday, so make sure you subscribe for that one. It's a variation of a proven eight-figure product. So this company in the past, like Crown and Paws, um, Pup Socks, that take a portrait of your dog and display it in a certain fashion. So they'll display it as a royal, display it as a superhero, display it on some socks. These guys have taken the fact and taken that proven concept and they're selling it in a different package. So I'll play the video for you, but there's not a lot to see. If anyone, by the way, if anybody knows how to solve this bloody issue, it's so annoying. Basically all it does is it scrolls through different past examples of what the portraits look like versus the picture of the dog. I'm not quite sure why they did it in video format. A carousel ad or image ad would have been a lot cheaper. This is what the product is. You send in the picture of your dog and they send you back a flowery portrait of what the dog looks like. This has been going from August 23 of 23. Has 16,000 reactions, over 700 comments, 1.1 million views. And let's just take a look at what people are saying about this. So too many unanswered questions for me. I'm not quite sure what that would be. If I was the owner of this business, I'd be straight on to Joanne and say, what do you mean or how can I help addressing the issue? It's never a good idea to hide from your downfalls or your pitfalls or your criticisms. It's much better to answer them up front. I think people will respect you a lot more for that. What is the price range? I'd need this for my Raxigal. I should get one of these done for my ultimate flower child, Dark Chloe, or some photos. I need to save money. Do you also do cats? So there's potential kind of transition. You could maybe offer both. Love my picture, did a beautiful job. So there's somebody who has ordered one of these things. Let's jump on to the website then and take a look at what they're charging. So for one pet, a digital file is 48 pounds. They have 1800 reviews apparently, which is a crazy amount. I would love to know where these have all come from, in fact, because by the looks of it, most of them are image reviews too. And I don't think it's the sort of thing that you can import from AliExpress. So I mean to do some more digging in this, but 1800 reviews nonetheless, that's a significant amount of social proof. Maybe they have provided and supplied all of those. I'm not quite sure. Number of pets, one digital file, 48 pounds. If you want it on a canvas, the price ramps up. So 60 pounds, 72, 84, and 96. Adding extra things like this onto your product page is very straightforward. There's apps that do this. Um, there's one called Product Options where you can create custom ones and then the information will transfer across so you can put the name of your pet. Again, this is another option too, which you can add with the use of an app. It's very straightforward and easy to do. And by the thing, let's have a look. So all in out, super easy. So again, if it was me, I'd make a bigger thing of this because the number one thing people have in their minds is how does the process works. So I would make a bigger section of this with illustrations unless they have it up here, but even then it's gonna be difficult to find. I would have this as a big image with the clear steps laid out, so it was crystal clear how the process works. But by the looks of things, you upload and pay for your order, you get a preview within 48 to 72 hours, you have to confirm it, and then it's delivered five to seven working days later. And of course, there's print on demand supplies which will do this for you. Um, it's a very straightforward and easy thing to set up. The only thing is maintenance and processing of the orders is obviously gonna be quite admin heavy. In terms of coming up with the actual designs themselves, so one pet, digital file, 48 pounds, you can come onto Fiverr, search pet drawing, strike a conversation, send messages to a few different providers, um, see if you have this long, and ask them if you have this long standing relationship where they're gonna be providing X amount of drawings on a consistent basis, and you're gonna be providing consistent business for them they can give you a better rate. But we can see, you can get a pet watercolor illustration for nine pounds. You can get a Disney style for 25 pounds. There's another Disney style here from five pounds. It's kind of like a modern art decor style here from five pounds. Um, this one here, which looks pretty good. So you can have your pet as different superheroes. Pup Patrol, of course, from 30 pounds. So there's lots and lots of different options here. Um, and a key takeaway from this is they've taken a proof product and they're selling a different variation of it. Go and look at a company called, I think they're called pupsocks.com, look at a company called Crown and Paws, both seven figure businesses that have a similar setup to this except they print onto socks or they put your dog 
as a member of the royal family or as a superhero, that sort of thing. So they're basically taking that proven concept and understood that people like to get their dogs printed onto different things. They probably understood that it's mostly females as well that are ordering these products and they've adapted it to kind of, as you can see, which is pretty neat looking, is that the dog is illustrated with different flowers. And so with that being said, guys, that brings a wrap to today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I've given you some ideas and inspiration and motivation to work on your business. Um, if you would like some extra help and hand holding through the process of coming up with your own brand and scaling that, then make sure you check out my mentorship program. The link is in the video description below. Cheers, guys. I look forward to meeting you on the call. Ta.